590 KLBJ Radio News Time 1104. Good morning, I'm Allison Fox. Get dressed, you're under arrest. That's what Travis County Sheriff's deputies were saying as they busted 42 men at Hippie Hollow near Austin. Although nudity is permitted at the park on Lake Travis, deputies said those arrested were engaged in sex acts in public. Charges range from indecent exposure to public lewdness. The arrests were made Tuesday, Thursday, and yesterday. Well, after nine months of sitting on the shelf, the city is dusting off the Austin Public Library's main downtown branch. The Central Library has been closed since last July for renovations. This afternoon, the library reopens as the John Henry Falk Library. It's going to be a street party, hopefully, if the weather holds. We're going to have uh, music as well as a formal program starting at 3 o'clock. City spokesperson Dave Matusik says the party will include storytelling for, for the kids, puppet shows, and visits from Texas First Lady Laura Bush, Molly Ivins, and Cactus Pryor. Campaigns for the Austin School Board election have gone quietly this year, generating little conflict as candidates are focusing on the positive. There's no debate at all in the District 5 race where incumbent Ted Watley drew no opponent. In the two contested races, candidates haven't thrown any mud and actually tend to agree on many issues. Early voting in the three races closes on Tuesday. The the regular election is next Saturday, May 4th. Austin's crime rate rose only 1% last year to 81 serious offenses for every 1,000 people. FBI figures show Austin has less crime, especially violent crime, than cities of comparable size. According to police figures, Austin's central business district, including downtown and 6th Street, had more crime than any other area of Austin. A new aircraft may change the face of commercial air transportation. Texas hosted a conference on the new transportation alternatives this week. Bell Helicopter President Lloyd Shoppa bragged about uses of the V-22 tilt rotor. You can land uh, next to the road if you had some kind of an accident, pick up a patient, carry him to a hospital within just a, a very short period of time. Airport operators traded ideas at the Transportation Symposium. One local child abuse prevention group is reflecting on its work as Child Abuse Awareness Month draws to a close. CASA, or Court-Appointed Special Advocate Volunteers, say they helped shepherd abused children through the court system after they've been taken from their families, a service they say helps the city and county save money and helps a child deal with the trauma of being abused. The Ku Klux Klan plans a rally in Central Texas. The story from Larry Cordell. New Braunfels could be the site of a KKK rally on June 1st. That according to Michael Lowe, who is the director of the Klan's South Texas District. City manager Mike Shands isn't happy about the event, but said he cannot deny the group their constitutional right to free speech. Shands believes it's the first time his city has been the site of such a rally. According to Lowe, the KKK chose New Braunfels because of its proximity to Austin and San Antonio. The city will provide crowd and traffic control. Larry Cordell, 590 KLBJ Radio News. The Philippine Department of Health wants to make sure the country's monkeys are disease-free. The U.S. CDC has set up a lab to test monkeys in Manila before they're shipped overseas. Three monkeys sent to a South Texas facility in Alice, Texas, tested positive for a strain of the Ebola virus. An Austin man wanted JFK's rocker but settled for Jackie O's saddle. John McCall bid nearly $35,000 for a used saddle he says is probably worth 25 bucks. He plans to display it in his private lodge that will also contain plastic fish, painted footballs, and a stuffed elk. And now with a look at sports, here is 590 KLBJ Radio's John Hale. Tonight, a 50% chance of thunderstorms, some possibly severe, a low of 58. That 50% chance of rain continues into Monday. Otherwise, it'll be partly cloudy and much cooler, our high only reaching 65. Right now, partly cloudy skies, 78 degrees in Austin. For Larry Cordell, John Hale, and the entire 590 KLBJ Radio News Team, I'm Allison Fox. 590 KLBJ Radio News Time is 1110.